All right, so this is our spot here. That I built, man, back in, I think around 08 when it was really kicking ass with freestyle motocross. Uh, the business militia was doing, doing well. Uh, a lot of stuff was going good. So I bought property here and uh, I had to wait till I could afford to build the house. We kind of built as we made money. And uh, anyhow, I said, if I could build the dream property, what would it be? So I said, okay, it'd be a nice house with a shop, with a swimming pool, with tracks everywhere. So this is 20 acres. We built supercross, motocross, freestyle park, ramps, foam pit, literally everything here. This is what built built me, built Hayden, built you know, a lot of the, the freestyle motocross guys. We had all trained for X Games here. Basically, we were able to build this spot. We got a pool, like a small pool up here. It flows over the waterfalls of the rocks into the big pool. We've got a slide. And it's all grapes around here. So we got like a, I don't know, a couple acres of grapes here. We've got a garden that we don't use anymore because we went to the East Coast. Slide and slide down in the pool. The kids had a lot of fun growing up here. Good thing is we still own it. Obviously, I was wise enough to pay this off over time as I made money. Give you guys some financial advice. If you guys invest in real estate, <laughs> that's the only thing that's only gone down once in my lifetime in 08 and only went down for a second and back up. So uh, anyhow, we invested, kept paying this house off till we had it paid off. And now it's a high-end vacation around old Marriott, which has just been a you know, good investment. The good thing is I still own it. I can always use it, come back here. Who knows, we may end up back here one day. I don't know. Um, so, but the, my point with all this is not to show and flex. We got um, official size volleyball, sand volleyball court down there. When Haley did volleyball, we built a co court for her. We didn't spare any expense. When it came to the kids, we did, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it all the way. So, um, anyhow, there was a foam pit back there. I'm not showing this as like floss and be like, hey, check it out. I'm showing you this to say, hey, I was a kid from Nebraska, started with nothing, came out here with a dirt bike, an old, old Ford F-150 truck, slept on my buddy's floor, was like, I'm gonna make it. I'm, I don't care, I ain't going back. Like, had nothing, had nothing to lose, just like everything to gain. I was like, I'm just gonna work hard. Worst case, I'm gonna have to go back to Nebraska and live that life and go to college. And um, I'm just showing you this to show you that I took a lot of chances. This was built on hard work, broken bones, relationships, freestyle motocross, uh, even, you know, supercross somewhat got me started. And then uh, car racing, off-road trucks, a rally car, really just hard work, dude. At the end of the day and relationships with people and, and you know, trying to, trying to build my stock, the stock value, which is our name and it's our credibility. So anyhow, uh, just kind of want to show you guys that and, a quick because a lot of people that follow our YouTube don't know the history of this place but uh, there's a lot of a lot of history here so anyhow if you guys go back and watch some of our old videos you'll see this house in a lot of videos but uh, it's pretty cool dude uh, I think a lot of people feel like we sold this pad we didn't sell it like you don't sell assets remember that one there's another tip for you don't sell your ass in income producing assets don't get rid of them uh, Anyhow, beautiful place. My point of all this is work hard. You can earn this too. There's nothing special about me. It's just hard work. And uh, overall, this is, uh, yeah. You don't think we want to be here and hang out here? You don't think this is a, you think this is a rough deal here? Like, no, we went to Tallahassee, first Charlotte, then Tallahassee, to live in a smaller house with smaller property, living down by the swamp in, uh, for sacrifice, man. We do what we gotta do to be where we gotta be to win, to win, that's it. So, it's all sacrifice. Sacrifice by me, by mom, by Hudson, you know, uh, everyone, you know, for, you know, I wanna see Hayden, Hayden succeed, you know, and even he's sacrificing choosing to go to Star and live in Tallahassee. I mean, you don't think this life's good? You know what I'm saying? Like, could have stayed here and rode for KTM and, or many other teams, Cowie or whatever, dude, and um, stayed here, but we, went to the place where we feel we have the best chance to have the most success. So, success comes before luxury. And then you, remember that. <laughs> then you'll have a good life. So, all right, later. This is our stomping ground. This is our pumpkin patch that we've been coming to for the last 10 years. 
and our friends at Pelter oh, Donut. We used to try to buy like the biggest pumpkin and like fit like me in it. So their wineries up there and all their grapes everywhere and they always do like all these like cute little activities and stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Back of my head. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, better. Right, there's a good selection right here. I'm gonna have to go with the little gooey hand. Uh, what are the odds of me getting red? First try, right in the middle. Zero. Uh, what do you say? Zero. Freaking. Hey, we're gonna hit it from afar. Dude, you're missing. Yeah. Yeah. So her mom's really live right over the hill. And we drive the uh mule and the dirt bikes over here. And these are drove our like can ams or whatever over here. And this pumpkin patch has been here for a long time. This it's, winery up there is amazing. It's cool. We'll have to uh, we'll have to take it up there. It's right. rad. This is what a good neighbor looks like. Uh-huh. This guy. Super cool, super easy going. Oh, you need some help? Need a tractor? Grab one. You need help? No problem. Not one that's looking over your fence and going, eh, what are you doing? Honestly, if my neighbors even knew how cool we are, like, we would, like, literally give you the keys to whatever, let you guys use whatever. <laughs> Make sure he gets red and blue and sugar. That's our dinner. This has like rocks in it that you're gonna find, like this one. So pour it over there. And then you're done, you guys can be done. Dude, I'm rich, bro. You have some good ones. What I used to do, I used to come in here and drag my hand across the whole thing, and I have like thousands of rocks of like these. Because the kids would just drop them. I wouldn't have super big in collecting these things. You used to collect all kinds of different rocks. You find them out in the hills. And then you found like those um, lizard, like the horny toads, spiked frogs or whatever. They're out there. Dude, those, have you ever seen those? Those, those lizards with those spikes all over them? You haven't seen those? I've seen like... They're, you see them around here. Dude, this is a freaky looking... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they pin it. They move super fast. You see it. The SoCal have everyone kind of looks the same. SoCal has its own vibe, dude. Yeah. It's its own deal. It's the, still the Moto Central. Like this place is still the, the home of dirt bikes. Like you got the most history for sure. Freestyle motocross pretty much was created. We did our first jump show demo like 30 minutes from here. A lot of history here. This is where everything started. All in these hills. Let's go. Oh, right, there's a good selection right here. I'm gonna have to go with the little gooey hand. Uh, what are the odds of me getting red? First try right in the middle. Zero. Uh, what do you say? Zero. Freaking. 